Okay, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're doing a little bit more of BDSBOU live. I wanted to, you know, just take a little break from Little Cup um, and get back on the grind tomorrow. Um, so we're just going to do some BDSPOU. Um, i got to change my name because I'm on my PU account or one of my multiple PU accounts. And let's get into it. So before we jump into everything, obviously, if you could leave a like, uh, that would really mean a lot to me if you could leave a comment. Uh, if you have any sort of questions, concerns, or feedback. And of course, feel free to subscribe. We're pumping out one to two videos per day of Pokemon Showdown related content. Uh, it's a little bit later at night, 1140. A little bit earlier, actually, than usual for me, but... I think we can uh, get into it here. So we're using a team Psychic Spam with uh, Extra Bell Azel, Splex Lottie, Fortress with uh, Sturdy, not Overcoat, which makes sense. Um, I'm going to lead off with you. Okay, don't like this lead. So you turn out of here pretty comfortably. It's Scarf Dark Pulse. That is unfortunate. Um, I guess I go into you and just throw up rocks. Um, okay, that's fine. Don Fan comes in. Um, I Ice Beam, I guess, here. Opponent uh, goes for Rapid Spin. I should be able to live in EQ. Yeah, I can knock that thing out. It's going to be hard to get rocks up again, but I should be able to do it on a Houndeam locked into uh, whatever move it wants. So I'm going to go into 40 here. Spore does come out. It's a good play. This thing doesn't really scare me, though, so I can just Gyro Ball, I think. Does reveal Drain Punch. Um, I do like the Volt Switch play, so I will go for it. Oh, clutch. And I'm just going to go into this and Draco Meteor. If my opponent tries to make the Houndoom play, yeah, I figured they'd just try to make it. Okay, that actually took that surprisingly well. Uh, must be Spadef or something. But I'll just go into Rotom again and like pivot as they do that. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Volt Switch here. That is full spadaf. Okay, I don't know what to expect anymore, so I'm just going to go into 40. Um, eat a Toxic, that works out. Put up a Spike. As my opponent Brave Birds. Should be able to Gyro Ball here. Custap Gyro Ball. Doesn't do anything. As I'm not sure what my opponent can do to me. Oh, yeah, I can just uh, Volt Switch out and go from there. So Crobat's been eliminated. We have a Spike up, which is nice. Um. I like the Lottie play because I want to bait in the Dark type move from the Houndoom. Exactly. I can pivot into the T Tar. Should be able to take two, honestly, because T Tar Spadef is insanely good. And this is weak as hell. Okay, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be a roll, but we will uh attempt to get up rocks. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's fine. As my opponent is completely grounded, so I should be able to just fire off an EQ. Uh, pretty comfortably here. Hmm. I wonder if plus two EQ. It definitely doesn't knock out this, does it? Well, with soft sand, it actually might. So we have to do some calcing here, because there is a chance that this is enough. So Garchomp with Sword Sands at plus two, and soft sand versus a Breloom. Which is just Choice Scarf, we'll say. No. Breloom, which is just blank at this point. Why can I not press the buttons? Blank set Breloom. Alright, plus 2 EQ is doing, yeah, more than enough. Then the question becomes Hound Dooms, Choice Scarf, Dark Pulse, doing 36 to 46. Excellent. So, yeah, we will uh, sort of stands here 100% of the time. That's not going to do enough. I can Earthquake pretty comfortably. Get rid of that thing. When it goes into Breloom here, I'm going to pivot into my Lottie on the Mock. Excellent. I think I can T-Bolt here on the Empoleon that's coming in. Is the Empoleon coming in? Yeah, Empoleon. Actually, yeah, no, Psychic's a better play. If my opponent decides to, for some reason, yeah, like it still does so much, and I can go into Scarf Rotom on this thing very comfortably. So Ice Beam comes out, that's completely fine. I Volt Switch out of here. Completely knocked that thing out, which is amazing. And I should be able to clean up the game with Lottie, unless this, uh, well, this thing only has Scald. So 
I'm really not scared of this. It's gonna shadow. Oh, it. Okay, I did not know it could run Shadow Ball. I. <sighs> that's really unfortunate. I wonder if that specs. It probably is, right? And I think I lose the game because of that. Ugh. Okay, I messed up. Hydro Pump is only gonna do 44. Spec Shadow Ball is gonna do 42. I can Hydro Pump again. I really needed that roll. That's really unfortunate. And I think. Actually, no. I think I lose. Because Mock Punch, and I died at this Mock Punch, don't I? I definitely do. So, maybe I shouldn't have risked... Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. I guess I messed up in the mid-game there. Um, but I guess it's part of the game. Hey, I'm not a, I'm not someone who claims to win all the time. I'm someone who claims to have fun. <laughs> Learn from the mistakes. So, I guess if we were looking at that game, um, I guess I shouldn't have risked the Shadow Ball. I thought it could only run Scald. I wasn't expecting Specs, if I'm being honest. I thought it could only run it was like a Subcom Mind. So that's on me. I should have probably kept that in the back of my head. As we're definitely facing Hyper Offense here. So I'm just going to lead off with Tar to break its Sash. Go for Crunch. My opponent can go for Rocks. Um, that's fine. I'm able to go for Crunch. Kill this thing with Sand. I have Fire Blast for Scizor. I have Ice Beam for Garchomp. So like that's... Always good for me. Rotom comes in. I'm kind of cool with just rocking. Hydro Pump really can't do much to me. Wisp is annoying, but it's not like the end of the world. And at this point, I'm looking to win potentially with uh, Chomp. Eh, it depends. Um, but I'm going to just Fire Blast here on the Scizor switch and yep. So if we connect, that's going to be great. And it's out of here. Excellent. 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 So really happy with that raid. Titar is a beast and I'm ice beaming for sure here. Uh, if I die to EQ, which I might um, or not, uh, <laughs> this thing is going to go down as well. So that's awesome. As uh, I'm not sure if that's scarf damage or not, uh, which is a little unfortunate. Um, but I guess I can just go 40 and uh, put up a spike. So it does actually get itself in confusion spike is always valuable to me here as yeah this is not going to do anything and i can just put up a bunch of layers and i can get a rapid spin kill like i can do whatever i want so uh i'll put up layers as much as i want and then rapid spin kill and win the game so okay that also works um i guess default could come off from the togekiss um but gyro will still do a ton of damage to this thing it can also flinch me down or reveal flamethrower all viable options um, none of them extremely concerning though, so I can go into my Rotom here, I can Volt Switch out, and uh, I think win the game with my, well, I guess I technically lose to, uh, Weavile, so, like, maybe not sacking the, uh, thing was, I, maybe not sacking that was probably the better play, but, uh, I think it's fine, because as long as I keep my Rotom at, like, above 50, I can Volt Switch and just win this game, so, yeah, I think we're fine. So, GG's to my opponent. Um, T-Bolt will pick up a kill no matter what comes in. Yep, that comes in. Uh, Weavile is going to be forced to take 50% from Hazards because there's no boots in this generation. And that is going to be the game. So, GG to my opponent. That was a fun one. And I think we can just keep chugging along here. Keep chugging along and uh, getting games. So, I like this T-Tar set. I do like this T-Tar set. Uh, very, have to be very careful of the Rotom or the Feraligator. Um... Again, I'm going to lead Godtar <laughs> because of the Azelf lead, as I think I, I, do, I do like that as an option. Long term, uh, Chomper actually looks amazing uh, at plus two. Uh, Rotom, again, is going to be necessary for keeping the Gator in check. It's just a hyper offense build. Um, so I'm, oh, wait, no, no, I did not mean to do that. I meant to lead Tar, but I guess this works, kind of. I can U turn out of here pretty comfortably. Eat a knock with my Tyranitar or my uh... yeah. I'll, I'll I'll go for U-turn here. Eat that. Um... This is a little tough. Let's go for the knock. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have risked the. Uh... Probably shouldn't have risked the uh, the scarf, but we just have to play offensive now around <laughs> our friend uh, for alligator, which is fine as we do see the energy ball that's not going to do anything and i'm going to take this as an opportunity to get up rocks because the spinner is dead uh, and rocks are key to winning games so scissor is going to come in i'm going to fire blast here ah that would have killed you know that would have killed so my opponent got bailed out there by that but sometimes that's just part of the game there's nothing you can do about it my opponent got completely bailed 
by a 15% chance. And I will say that I will say that to the death because that was stupid. Um, I don't have much anymore for this because I lost my chomp. Or sorry, I lost my. Uh, yeah, I guess I lost my chomp. Uh, this doesn't get ice beam coverage, so I think I can just stone edge here. Psychic is going to do quite a bit of damage as uh, my opponent is maybe potentially specs. I doubt it though. I feel like probably locked into some capacity. We can't. That's doing quite a bit on the resist. I'm going to pivot into Rotom as there's the flamethrower. Yeah, I don't have an out against this, unfortunately. Oh, it's lefties. How did I not notice lefties? Uh, don't play when you're tired, I guess, is the moral of the story. So I have to sack something here. Probably just find a sack the fortress, unfortunately, as I can gyro, gyro ball here. Yep. Go into my ass elf and basically hope to win the tie. So real ones win the tie or not, as I should be able to just wisp here pretty comfortably. I would have go Mammo if I was my opponent or let me burn the scissor, which is good for me. Uh, this comes back in. I have to just sack, I bet, at this point. And I think I just lose this game because of that miss or a big a big portion of it is because of that miss unfortunately, so uh, I will u-turn on this turn as scissor comes in Can EQ pretty comfortably on this thing as bullet punch isn't gonna do that much especially because of the burn unfortunately is gonna do just enough to the point that I can't knock it out and yeah this game is looking over so unfortunate but I guess that's way that's the way the game goes maybe I should have SD'd that turn but uh, I thought my opponent would try to U-turn uh, predicting the switch or predicting my like pivot into Lottie um, and at this point yeah it's looking pretty much over I don't have anything forces so I will go into you again I think I just have to U-turn I have to win the tie which I do then I go Lottie, and I basically have to pray that Specs Draco picks up a kill against everything, which it should. Specs Psychic also goes crazy. Um, but there's just too much priority on this team, unfortunately. So I think the way that I win is if my opponent goes Mammo, I can... Ooh, Draco. High Shard. Draco connects, you go for alligator, I Draco again, and I just lose the game. Yeah, there's nothing I can do against this thing, unfortunately. Unless I crit here, which I don't. I guess, actually, there's hope if um, T-Bolt into Flamethrower is enough to kill Lucario, but I doubt it. Actually, it is, and we win the, <laughs> win the game. So, cool. That was uh, that was fun, I guess, as uh, we, as Elf in the back, cleared it up, so... These are fast paced games. These are, you know, psychic spam is very, very powerful. Um, I don't think there's really much else for me to analyze in these games. Like I just have to win before my opponent wins a lot of the time. So um, we're making it work. Azelf, I guess, is actually pretty clutch. And we can see how good Azelf was against my team in that situation. Like it's coverage, it's speed, and Expert Bell is just a great I item for sure. Okay, another team. If Azelf had Ice Beam, it'd be broken, dude. Um, Gyarados is definitely scary, but again, we have Rotom. Probably shouldn't risk the. Um, the tie or the the getting knocked but there's also no knocker on this team uh you me can't learn knockoff and learn clefable yeah so no knocker on this team which is huge um rocks probably going up early if i was my opponent and trying to uh prevent fortress from doing too much i'd probably like lead Mew or something, so like for that reason, I'll just lead Tyranitar. Yeah, this also is not ideal actually. Um, I just go Fortress on the U turn or on the uh, on the Iron Head. If they U turn, it's a good play, but also like their team doesn't really threaten me that well. Um, like nothing really actually threatens Fortress, um, besides maybe a Fire Blast or Fire Fang on Garchomp. So we'll have to see exactly what my opponent decides to go for here. Flamethrower Mew is, Mew is also a possibility, but I think they would have led with that if they were anticipating Mew. Um, long term, I can't set up with Ditto, but like look at their Dragon Resist or their Psychic Resist. It's literally this Jirachi. Um, so getting up Spikes is going to be very important because that's going to keep the Jirachi in check. Um, so Clefable is going to come in. Flamethrower is very, very evident right now. Like, this is the most obvious flamethrower ever. 
Um, so I think I'll just go into my Tyranitar, Fire Blast, cool. Putting up rocks as soon as possible. Um, Moonblast is not going to do that much because I am defensive, which is good. I also don't have a switch into this. Like I don't <laughs> know who designed this team <laughs> with that in mind, but I guess that's the way it's going to go. So Moonblast is going to come out. That's quite a bit. I'm going to Volt Switch here. Um, my opponent should be afraid of Trick. I kind of want to make this Trick. Okay. As Yeah, I literally don't know what to do against this. I legitimately have no option. <laughs> Look at my team. There's just four Fairy Weeks and a Fire Week Fortress. Uh, that's excellent. Um, no Iron Head. Literally nothing. Yeah, this is bad. I'm going to go into Azelf and I guess try to break uh with uh with psychic basically it's my option so psychic does quite a bit fortunately uh, meaning i can go into this and fire off a spec psychic and start to chip i guess but that is just not good for me and yeah that's spadef rachi so we are not looking too ideal here but fortunately the uh as elf or the clef is very very low so it'll take rocks and then it should be in range of like eq and and the like i am gonna i think i'm gonna make this iron head because that clef is just too much. Like, I just have nothing for it. <laughs> As Ditto comes in, okay. Uh, I mean, this is a pretty easy fortress. Gyarados comes in. That's a free Volt Switch. Yup, that's fine. Hey, I'm all for it, buddy. That literally did nothing, but I'm here for it. As I can go Chomp now. And I can Stone Edge very comfortably. My opponent doesn't have much in the way of a switch in. Um, I guess they're... Ditto is the option, but they're getting one. Oh, come on. I really need some of these attacks to hit. Like, I can't. Seriously? <laughs> like, I really need these to hit, man. Like, I really do. Yeah, and like, it's so telegraphed, but I can't do anything about that when I. Yeah, it's stupid, but whatever. I'm going to spike. I have to hope for no fire type move, basically. Knowing me, it's going to be fire type move. And Okay, well, it's not, fortunately. As we are going to trade spins here, which I guess is, like, fine. Yeah, whatever. You're locked into that. I'm going to full switch. Or I'm going to I'm gonna spike. Gyarados comes in. I've already determined what I can do against Gyra, which is volt switch. Yeah. Do I even want to go for it? Not really. But I will. Okay, let's connect here. Let's connect here. Come on. Come on, Gyarados. You can do it. Taking damage on Gyarados, on Garchomp, excuse me, is really, really bad, actually. Because of the fact that, like... Uh, okay, rocks go up. I mean, we're going to do the same thing. But I win this 1v1 because at least, like... Ditto's getting worn down. And I can spin and just, like, Volt Switch around. It's, like, it's fine. It just sucks. Um... My opponent could make a good play and go Clef here. They go Mew instead. Not sure what Mew is going to do to me. Probably a fire type move if I had to guess. I'm just going to go Choppoltar just in case fire type move comes out. Defog. Okay. Cool. Just put up rocks and uh, go from there. I'm going to go for Ice Beam here. As it could EQ, it's fine. There's nothing I can do at this point. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll go for the EQ. I'll go for the Ice Beam play because if I can get it, that's huge. Because um, Garchomp still looks really good. Garchomp looks like it can win this game, kind of. As yet, there's the Stealth Rocks and there's the Ice Beam. Doesn't kill, but puts this thing very, very low, which is excellent. And I can very easily pivot into my Fortress on this thing and uh, get some, uh, yeah, get something out of it. So yeah, take a little bit of chip, no big deal. Um, as I'm just gonna get Gyro Ball this time, get that thing out of the way, and we're gonna trade, uh, unfortunately. But this is also good because my opponent can't go Ditto anymore. So we'll play with no rocks or rocks. I don't really matter to me. Well, if Chomp goes down, then I play with rocks basically, right? Because my T-Tar can still. Uh, rocks up, so we're gonna be able to, we're gonna trade. Fine. That was the biggest threat to my uh, my Garchomp. So besides the obviously the Clay Thompson. <laughs> so if I was my opponent, I would probably just lead off with uh, 
ditto trying to scout what my opponent what i go for so i'm just going to go for titar lead um it also prevents basically nothing but it works out decently well i, I don't know this game is going to be extremely hard because of the double stone edge miss like i just basically took a bunch of damage on pokemon for no reason um that shouldn't have taken damage <laughs> and i need that health to like pivot around so it's a little unfortunate and i can't just d i can't just sd as much as i want to i can't right now unfortunately um i also can't just drop dracos because of the jirachi um and the clef obviously um i guess i can drop t-bolts t-bolts aren't bad t-bolts actually look decent into this so i can go for that but it's gonna be rough it is gonna be rough for sure we'll see what my opponent goes for me for me t-tar just makes the most sense is yeah this is what i was worried about so this thing can't do anything basically um, it's going to be able to go into, uh, Clef here. So I'm going to pivot into Lottie. If they make the crunch play, that's really good. Um, but if I was my opponent, I would just go into Clef as it's a very hard stop to my, uh, T-Tar. And I should be able to get a Thunderbolt off after that. Um, so we actually switch out first, meaning that my opponent went for crunch. Good play. Um, there's nothing I can do in this situation unfortunately so uh i guess you know gg to my opponent they played well um took advantage of the misses and they were able to get you know get a lot of mileage out of that gyarados and they played well with the fortress and the ditto so good play um good playing and i just got outplayed so we'll get one last game it's a little bit late at night i'm kind of tired of laddering but i want to practice bds pou because i have to play uh for the tournament actually soon uh so i need to like just be in touch with the meta see what's good see what's not as uh okay facing i think a pretty similar team to that one time uh, i'm going to lead off with lottie i'm gonna click specs t bolt okay heatran comes in takes that pretty comfortably again i just like t-tar just because of its ability to scare this thing out with an eq can put up rocks gliscor comes in this is exactly what we need i can ice beam you super comfortably almost knock you out not enough but enough as uh i'm going to i think just volt switch on this turn yep catch that excellent <sighs> unfortunately double steel is a very tough archetype to run into but we can go into our lottie i think Ugh, sandstorm doesn't pick give us any information as to what is what but i do really just like drake going into this team even Heatran after rocks and all of the uh, and the Draco is still taking quite a bit is lefties um, and it's probably going for a fire type move if I had to guess so I'm gonna go chomper this time around and I, well actually yeah go chomper I'm gonna go Rotom actually this time around as yeah magma Strong. I didn't want to go chomp because I get trapped basically by that and if I was my opponent, again, I would probably just pivot into Rotom. So I will Volt Switch this time. Okay. They go from Water Week to Water Week. That's a good play. I, I, they got me, I guess, in that situation. As they can Roost here. Um, oof. Uh, maybe I should just Hydroed. The worst was the Rotom coming in. Yeah. Okay. Well, they got me. As they Roost, that's completely fine. But again, uh, their Surf Switching is a uh, heatran so i will uh, i'll just i'll just surf here yeah surface play just hit hit what's in front of you um obviously yeah this will die which is good uh means drake goes really free as is freed up big time and polion can come in but again polion doesn't really like scare anything on my team could be ice beam for sure um but i just like the idea of just going into my fortress here um on a pump whoa okay offensive fascinating we'll eq you um wow uh, i was not expecting that for sure sword stands up here very comfortably my opponent can't do much to me you turn yeah this is gonna come in I'm going to just outrage pump does quite a bit but we do remove the scarfer you are forced to go empo but or you go breloom which is a good play mock punch will pick me off but I think at this point I win with Specs Psychic, so I will go for it. It's obviously an offensive Empoleon, 
if it's running pump and not scald. So I don't think it takes uh, Draco or Psychic extremely well. Um, can I win this game or do I lose this? I think I might lose this game. So I'm going to Psychic this turn to see if I can make something happen. As Yeah, we get rid of that, which is huge. Um, good thing I didn't Draco because that doesn't allow uh, Dragonite to set up for free. Although I'm assuming on this type of team it might be banned. Um, I wish we were Ice Beam, but we're not. I think I sack Tyranitar next and try to win from there. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's see what my opponent decides to do here. This is gonna be a tough end game. I'm in the advantage. Uh, they go Dragonite. I'm just gonna Psychic you. Yeah, that's fine because I don't have a switch in anyway, as we have established. So I'm going to just Crunch, as you have to go Empoleon on the Ice Beam. I've already revealed Ice Beam. Um, I could also double, but then. Yeah, I don't think I can. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll crunch here on the Empoleon. Get a lot of damage off, but I have to eat a Hydro Pump now, unfortunately. Can Titar do it? Potentially Titar can do it. Does reveal Scald this time? Okay. So I'm not sure if this is like Specs or something. I literally have no idea. I will just go Azelf, I guess, and fire off, uh, like, what do I do? Fire off T-Ball, I guess? Knock this thing out. Um, and I think I just lose the game because uh, Dragonite's E-Speed is just too strong. So I guess the better play was to pivot Rotom, but Rotom was going to die anyway to that Scald if that was Specs or whatever. As yeah, I don't have anything for you, unfortunately. I'll go into you. You just banded E-Speed and win. So that that's a, it's a little bit of a... You bend D-Speed and you win, don't you? Yeah, you do. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That's definitely going to pick me off. Uh, okay, so it was a little bit of a rougher live. We had uh, a couple of bad games, a couple of good games, but, you know, I'm not here to... I'm not a really good BDS POU player. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do struggle with this tier. Uh, maybe it's just coming down to pathing. Maybe it just comes down to team structure. Um, but I just don't... I, I'm not very good at this tier, unfortunately. I'm trying my best to improve, and that's kind of the point of these videos, but sometimes... Uh, you know, can't win them all. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned from some of my weaknesses and lessons here. I think we can go through this game really quickly to see where things went wrong. Uh, definitely T-Bolting here is, like, fine, I guess. Uh, I guess I should just made some more doubles. Like, getting up rocks here is fine. Like, Ice Beaming this isn't great in particular because of the fact that like, you don't knock it out, and you're just taking so much damage for with Gliscor, and we need this as the E-Speed resist. Like, this or Fer Fortress, because if this is Fire Punch, then we can't even use Fortress. So, probably not worth taking that damage. Would have been better to, like, go into Rotom or something instead. So, like, yeah, taking this damage, getting a lot of damage off is nice for sure, but, like, 80% is really, really nice. I should have just done that on the previous turn if I really wanted it. As I can pivot into Rotom here, and I make the fine play. Volt Switching here is fine. Heatran here... Maybe should have surfed, but Draco is like completely fine as I can pivot into Rotom. Eat a storm. Again. Honestly, I think it would have been fine to just go into I don't even know. Maybe chomp that turn and force the EQ, force the switch out. I don't know. It's it's a tough series. As Gliscor is gonna come in. I should have hydroed this turn. The worst that comes in is well, the thing is like if I hydrate and kill this Gliscor, then you just go like uh, Breloom, or you go Dragonite, or whatever. So, like, maybe the better play was to... No, there was no better play. I think the better play was to go Chomp on the previous turn and try to, like, get out of there, <laughs> figure that out instead. But instead, I'm stuck in this weird position where Gliscor can get a lot of free health back. I can Surf and kill this, which is good. Um, but Empoleon comes in, and I have to pivot into... I'm pivot into Fortress, and I eat that... Um... But I don't have much in the way of a switch. And I think maybe Chomp could have been better. 
Um, losing Fortress means, again, Dragonite is really, really tough. But I really wasn't expecting offensive on this team. So I guess they got me with that. Like, that's Hydro Pump just completely wiping me out. Made things really rough. As I'm going to go Chomp after and hit the SD, I think. Uh, or hit the EQ. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I got caught by the Empoleon. I really got caught by the Empoleon. Maybe I should have analyzed the team preview better. But it's hard to say. Like, I don't think at team preview I anticipated. I anticipated just, like, um, defensive Empoleon. As, yeah, like, we're going to break past the Rotom, but I guess on this turn, maybe not taking 50% with uh, Chomp was the play and actually pivoting into, like, Lottie and then, like, dropping a Draco would have been better. So I think that could have been a potential play because the 50% damage is kind of unnecessary to take and it would have been more valuable to actually not take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that could have been a misplay. I could have pivoted into my own Lottie. Um, taking the Hydro, um, and then dropped a Draco, but I don't know how much it would have done in return. I, like, I think it might have 2 it KO'd after rocks, because I'm only at like 60. I think this does end up doing like 30%, so like, it would have been close either way, but Draco was like really free. Um, and I didn't make any doubles, like that's the thing, I didn't make any doubles um, at all, and I, tra I let my Garchomp get tramped. I think here, a nice play would have been going, instead of Lottie, uh, would have been going Azelf, actually. Azelf, uh, can Psychic very comfortably, um, T-Bolt like the Empoleon, and the, yeah, I think maybe, actually, yeah, I think Azelf is the better play here. So Lottie was a bad play, because uh, I'm forced to lock into Psychic, right? And that means Empoleon comes in and just clicks whatever it wants, but lot, but uh, Azelf can just Psychic into T-Bolt, and then, you know, like, really put the pressure on. So that was definitely the misplay of the game. I think everything else, like, obviously some in... in in opportune situations but this was a big misplay like this just allows the empoleon in and now i'm like what do i do i have to sack something or let's or i guess my let's the dragonite in right and like that's fine because if i sacked my uh i guess like my as elf to dragonite that would have been better than losing my lottie i think in the long run it's still gonna be tough but basically i think i could have tried to bait in the empoleon better right i could have baited in the empoleon t-bolted that thing and then you know T-Tar is like very much like very easy to like stay in and like keep this dragon in check. I don't know. It was definitely tough. Losing Fortress early was really rough. And of course, you know, um, not going as elf. I think that play was the key. But hey, that's the point of the videos. We learn, we live, we move on, and we get better. So I think we'll leave it at that. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Sorry we couldn't get too many wins, but you know, uh, would you, what would you rather have? Someone who's real or someone <laughs> who sh someone who someone who wins or someone who's real? Uh, don't answer that. But take care, everyone. Have a good rest of the day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.